and recovery is the oldest pandemic. It's been here longer than either one of you. Me and you, right? It's gonna be here long after us. Yep, 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 y'all. Yes, yes. I am super excited today. The show that we, we we designed to just talk to people that's fighting the you know fighting on the front lines of recovery. I love recovery. This is like I'm dedicating the rest of my life to recovery because it's a it's the world's oldest pandemic, and I appreciate everybody for all that they do. Shout out to Ocean Tree Creative for making this happen. Like they are the beasts. They are the the wind beneath my wings. Yes. So I, I definitely want to shout them out today before we get started. But today, I got a special guy. I got a special guy. He actually met one of my producers, and I and he just overwhelmed the producers with his story. And then the story got to me, and I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, I got to get him on to now, to now, right? Because he got some he got some nuggets that I want our community to really digest, and I want you to really, really learn and gain from. So without further ado, Mr. Ryan Perry, what's up, buddy? How you feeling today? I'm great, man. I'm great. How about yourself? Man, I can't complain, man, because nobody gives a damn anyway, right? Who cares <laughs> about them? I, I, I'm just not a complaining type person. I'm a type of person that you you know, you know, do it or you don't, right? So who cares? But no, That's it. You can, you can complain all you want, but who's going to listen? Nobody really listens. They actually tune out. So tell, tell my people a little bit about you. All right. Well, uh, like you said, my name's Ryan and I run Soul Balance Coaching out of Northern California in the uh, East Bay area. But uh, I, I okay. serve pretty much everybody all over, you know, the wonders of uh, Zoom and Skype. And since, the, pan <laughs> since <laughs> the pandemic, everybody knows it. I've been involved in recovery in the recovery scene probably for six, seven years, I think, somewhere around there. Okay. Yes. You know, I uh, I went through my own struggles back in 2010, uh, kind of, I lost my mother and that kind of just steamrolled over into my own addictions. And I spent seven years that uh, I'm never yes. going to get back. I, said, I like the way you said that, that you'll never get back. Yeah. yeah. So seven years that I'll never get back. But, uh, you know, I started Soul Balance legally. I started Soul Balance about a year ago. But this is my way of kind of, I don't want to say penance, but this is my way of trying to give back, trying to pay for those seven years because I I, I took a lot. So I want to empower you. I want to empower you right there because my audience knows this is the Doers Club of America. So I noticed that when you, you know, you said, you know, I'm trying to give. No, no, no. You are actually doing. I, I actually did my research on you. But, you know, to have you as a guest, I got to do my homework. So to, I did my research on Soul Balance. Man, you are actually putting in a lot of work, not just for your community, but abroad. You know, with the new, like you said, virtual era. Man, you working across the bubble, bro. You on the front line. There's, no, there's only so much one can do. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So so, so no more trying. You're officially in the Doers Club. Doing. This is the Doers Club of America. I don't ever, 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 because I'm going to definitely stay in contact with you. I definitely, we don't try. There's no trying allowed. Okay. We are doers. I'm, okay? I'm, I'm going to show how much of a nerd I am here and quote Master Yoda, do or do not. Okay. There is no try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, and when you work the recovery front line, that's the attitude you have to have. It's not even an option. Like, I'm, you know, I'm looking for those people that actually really understand that because words have power. And you got to watch what you say to yourself first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what, cause when you say it to yourself, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, I'm going to believe whatever you say come out your mouth. So if you say, I'm trying to do this, then I'm like, oh, my God, he's trying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no. He's actually whooping ass over there. He's kicking ass and taking names. And, you know, and it's funny you mentioned that because that's actually something I talk about quite frequently is how you talk about yourself, you know, in your head. What you say about yourself is what you're going to show to the world. And that's what your mind is going to believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So take me back a little bit. You said seven years, you spiraled out of control. What got you back on track? Well, seven years, I spiraled out of control. I was, uh, you know, I was big into, into pain pills and I got on that, uh, that oxy train okay. for about seven years. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's an expensive Ooh. habit to have. So what got, what got me back 
pretty much yes, was sir. I lost almost everything. I lost pretty much every friendship I ever had in the world. I lost relationships. I lost cars. And what did it for me was I came this close to losing a ho house I inherited, you know, free and clear that was already paid for. And uh, I came just Damn. that close to losing it. Um, my girlfriend's at the time, her parents stepped in and you know, they knew what was going on. You try to hide, you try to hide things from people, but people aren't stupid and they know, you know, they'll just look at you and be like, mm, something's not right. Something's not adding up. So they, uh, they stepped in, they took over, they, um, you know, they fixed what was wrong. And the condition was that I do something not treatment necessarily, but I start making strides towards getting myself back on track. So how'd you get back on track? Did you do treatment? Um, I tried to go through the 12 step process. Uh, I tried to do uh, narcotics anonymous. I never really resonated with any, of right. That. I'm not, Tell me about you know, I'm, I'm not a God fearing person, not religious in that. I mean, I'm, I'm more spiritual, but not religious. And right. to me, 12 steps, narcotics, anonymous, alcoholics, anonymous, it takes away your own personal power, you know, because you've got to put your power into something else. And I just, I never believed that. Mm, that's interesting. So I was, I looked for kind of a more science-based recovery system. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's called smart recovery. Smart recovery. Tell me about it. Smart recovery is an online mostly online now since the pandemic, but uh, it stands for self-management and recovery training. Yes. I'm writing that down. Self-management and recovery training. I'm writing that down. Something I never knew existed for the longest time. And it was, you know, they have meetings almost 24 seven. You can find a meeting online hosted by anybody. They're all free. They're all, you know, you uh, hop on one of them on Zoom you check in, tell people, hey, I'm winning, or hey, I relapsed. And there's no judgment. There's no, oh, you got to go back to day one. There's no, none of that at all, which I, I think is great because, you know, in 12 steps, if you go back, if you go to them and say, hey, I, I messed up, you, know, you lose right. all of that time that you put in. And I just, I don't believe in that. Right. Oh, I love you. I love you more than I love you right more now than I did when we first started. You understand? Because that is the same gospel that I preach. I'm, you know, I don't tear down anything because I believe that the 12 steps got us exactly where we are today. Yes. And it's and it saved a lot of you know a lot of people and it does it done a lot of great things. But I'm a fan of evolution. I know life is all about evolution and is what what we did yesterday sometimes will not work today, right? Well, I'm an actual licensed counselor. I do a lot of groups. I do a lot of work on the front line. And I'm I'm one of those people that I speak against. And 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 I do it more like, you know, from a positive standpoint. I love 12 steps. I love what they've done. But they work for like my mother and my dad. Like that's that's something that their philosophy, but there's a new world order of drugs, right? We got fentanyl, we got a whole different animal. Like a lot of people are suffering mentally along with the addiction. Right. And, you know, it's it's interesting. That's that's a great point that uh, a lot of the older generation, you know, all they knew was 12 steps. All they knew was, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous. And again, I don't I don't knock it either. If it works, whatever recovery method works for you. First and foremost. Perfect. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. But our job is to you know make sure that the, the next generation is abreast to things like you just said, the smart recovery. And say that again one more time, because see, my people, they got to hear it over and over for it to stick. So smart. What does smart recovery stand for again? Smart recovery stands for self-management and recovery training. And recovery training. Okay. And it's okay. uh, it's based on a lot of uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Yep. Uh, they give you they give you a lot of tools that you can work on, you know, even things as simple as worksheets that you can download and start writing things. Right. You know, like what are your ABCs, your activating events, you know, your uh, bad behaviors. Yes. All of, all of that type of stuff. I love it. I love it. I'm going to look into it because I'm always looking to open up my mind when it comes to recovery and and being able to help the people. I'm just a servant. Right. I, and, and my job and my goal every single day 
is to add value to what, what's, what's being built. And recovery is the oldest pandemic. It's been here longer than either one of you, me or you, right? And it's going to be here long after us, for sure. I love the way you said that, the oldest pandemic, because that is 100% true, 100% true. And, you know, like I had said earlier, when I was, when I started doing uh, my own personal coaching with my clients to get them out of uh, addiction onto the road of recovery, something that one of my my closest friends, who's also an addiction trauma coach, and um, she said something to me that really stuck and it still sticks now. It says, addiction did not happen to me. Addiction happened for me. Yes. And you think about that and the path that I'm on right now and the path that you're on right now, who better to help the people out there that need help than the people that have been there? I say it all the time. People in recovery learn best from people in recovery. Absolutely. Right? And, and just to take it two steps further, everybody at some point in life experiences the need for recovery because recovery is not a substance. It's a mindset. Okay. So I, I start at the mind. I start at the top of the mountain when I, when I talk about recovery, when I, when I help people develop their jump shot or get back into their rhythm. We start at the mind. Mm -hmm. It's not about the substance. It's not about the trauma. It's not about the because I'm 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 actually certified in mental health and substance abuse. Okay. So I got both licenses. I do both, and they run for me. They run parallel. Mm -hmm. They're like brother and sister. If sometimes they're like interchangeable. Like I'm, it's, it's crazy because most of the people I work with, they go both ways. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's that's a really great, really great thing that you said. I've got I've got my degree in psychology. Okay. It's amazing how how much that plays in when you're talking to people, when you're, you know, trying to get them to open up and get them to trust you. It's amazing how much that plays in. I love that. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I've always believed is they say, what's the opposite of addiction? Connection. Yes, that is it. That is it. That is exactly it. You know, it's a formula. You know, I preach formula. I preach there is no really cookie cutter. There's no real quick formula. I think I think recovery for everybody is individualized. Mm -hmm. What you know, what what works for you might not work for you, for this person. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm I'm very heavy into like spirituality. Like, I'm not a religious person as well. So I think we are like like you are really my brother. Like, we are meant to fight together. I'm actually gonna come down to Southern California. And see, I can put out a couple of fires with you. Oh, that would be awesome. You should try. You should come up to come up to Northern California and see what it's like in San Francisco and Oakland right now. It's uh, what's, what's going on? Tell me. I mean, I would love to come down and uh, you know put some fires out. That's what I do. You know, Cal California is, is an interesting beast. Uh, they, you know, they want to support. They're very big on harm reduction. Right, Oregon. I mean, we. I'm in Oregon, so we do everything California do. So we are heavy in the harm reduction. So you should see the madness around here. It's like zombie central. Like I mean, there's a certain sector of our community that literally these are zombies. Yep. Okay. There, so and I I worked with a methadone clinic for for a couple of years before I just went back full time on my own. But I was working for a methadone clinic, and we served like seventy percent of our population was homeless. Wow. OK, so I imagine I and I was there for two years because I'm a servant. I love people. I get my energy from people. I get my energy for seeing people win. But it's very challenging living in a state where it's harm reduction, where they, you know, they give needles. They give pretty much clean stuff to them to, to use. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm not I'm not against harm reduction necessarily. You know, again, if it, if that works for you as a way to get you off of whatever you're doing, that that's great. But if you're using that as, you know, just an excuse to keep going and keep going, you know, I don't know if I'm against it. I mean, after working in the water, I'm telling you, I was being, I was literally on the, the super front line with that. And it's, I believe some people actually need it because it's, there's a, there, there, there's a psychological uh, defect that comes with using drugs over a certain period of time. Just something that goes on psychologically that's, you know, I haven't, found the study yet, but I am definitely on the manhunt to, to actually capture that knowledge. But there's something that happens when you use drugs over an extended period of time. It, it messes with the mind. Oh, yeah. So we have to, you know, so after working in that market, I do, I do, I, I won't say I'm 100% 
for medical assistant treatment, but I will say I will there are certain people that could definitely use it. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. You know, even I'm I'm surprised honestly to this day now that I have 7 years, 4 months and some change in days. Come on, let's go. Hold on, hold on. We're going to stop the press right there. We got to celebrate that. And everybody, I want everybody dropping in the channel. Tell my man congratulations. That is huge. Oh, you thank you. Thank you. Seven years, bro. Seven Ooh. years. Seven man, years. That's a, big, that's a huge deal. And, Super you know, bro. you had asked earlier how I got, you know, what made me want to change and how I got off of it. I did that on my own without any medic medical assistance and you know we're talking like i said i was on on the oxy train for Ooh. doing about as much as a dying cancer patient was doing on a daily basis oh, and to get off that those are the people i would say need it so for you to say that you did it without it man i'm taking up man salute you bro what, what's the secret sauce tell us the secret sauce connection uh honestly i had I had a support system of, you know, a woman in my life who'd been there for everything, thick and thin. She was right there next mm -hmm. to me. Her parents were supporting me. You know, I had a couple of friends that I hadn't burned bridges with yet that, you know, they were, once they figured out what I was doing and I told them, this is the route that I'm going, you know, I'm getting better. I'm going to get off of this. It was never a, I'm going to try to your point. It was, I'm going right. to do this. Right. And it was right. little by little, you know, I mean, we're talking sometimes mm -hmm. five milligrams a day, less, sometimes 10. Come on. Ooh, but, shit. and you know, it doesn't seem like much when you're talking about it now, but looking back then, it was like the end of the world. Because you couldn't see yourself without it. You couldn't see yourself without it. No, it, and to, and also to your point, it changes just like any drug does. It changes the chemistry in your brain. You know, you're doing it for seven years straight. Your body expects that. You can't just... Right. Stop. It's crazy. You did. You did. You look, man, you have no residue on you whatsoever. <laughs> I would like, I could not just meet you today and think that you were in recovery. I would say, damn, you holding it together. I too in recovery. I'm, you know, I'm I'm over 10 years in recovery. That's what got me in the that's what got me in the space for working for people. You know, I just feel like I have to rebuild the community that I once destroyed. So I gotta do my I gotta do my part. I gotta do my effort and so that's really like you said, it don't have none of nothing that happened to me. It happened for me, and I and I definitely took that vow years ago. Like I understand, I'm I'm one of those glass half full type of people. I just look at everything happens for a reason, and it's happened to, according to the plan. I'm a strong believer in God. I I know there's a God. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I know it. Like there has to be. There there just couldn't like some of the things that I've been through. I know there's a God. I'm not real big on the religious aspect of it, though. I, I, I'll be honest, like the people that follow me know, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really like a, a, the whole story of Jesus and stuff like that. Every day, I, you know, I'm still surviving. I get to do more research. I, The jury's out to lunch for that, right? But God, oh, no, no. Nobody could tell me nothing different. I will argue to I'm blue in the face. It's a, per it's a personal experience, I think. It's definitely personal. It's definitely more personal. There, there's what everybody tells you, and then there's what you make of it. Yes. And I've, I've always thought that, you know, I'm not into organized religion. I'm a spiritualist, kind of like I was saying mm -hmm. earlier. But, you know, God, there's got to be something else out there. You know, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to put a name to it because right. who knows, but there's right. got to be something else. I agree 100%. At the same time, I don't denounce nothing that works for the next person. So if it's Buddha, if it's Jehovah Witnesses, if they Muslim, Man, I don't got a heaven or hell to put nobody in. I know that firsthand. So what works yeah. for you, I strongly suggest you just keep working. As long as you're good to people, you loving on people, whatever you thinking and whatever you using produces those type of things. I'm a fan. You and I both lived in glass houses. You know, who who are we to throw stones? Man, not one. I'm I'm just not in the throne storm okay. business. Uh, I like to all my platforms when you follow me, when you see me, I'm all about encouragement, empowerment upliftment you know what i mean i mean the world is crazy enough there's a there's a place you can go for all the craziness that you can handle so and mm -hmm. they got multiple places you can go for that they don't got a lot of places where people can go and actually know that they can get empowerment you know what i'm saying like anytime you see me it's pure raw energy it ain't nothing but god's love it's the love yeah. that he give me i'm giving it back to somebody else 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. yeah. So what what type of work? You know what I'm saying? You know, what type of work are you doing in the community? You know, it, how can we support you? Right now, I do a lot of just personal one on one work. That's where I find that I'm that I'm most okay. effective is personal one on one work uh, with people. Typically, my ideal person is already out of active addiction, but I work with people who are out of active addiction and in active addiction as well. Okay. As far as support, I mean, honestly, the biggest way that anybody can support any of this is to just educate yourself. Educate yourself to end the stigma that a lot of people have towards users, towards addicts, towards all of those people, because they're viewed as such a negative, and I hate using this term, such a negative class of society. And you know what? Right. They're, they're just people. We're all people. You know, nobody goes yeah. into wanting to have a good time saying, hey, I'm going to end up an addict, you know, five years down the road, and yeah. I'm going to be living in a box under a bridge. <laughs> no, nobody goes into it saying that. I, <laughs> you know, those people are people, too. Mm -hmm. and, and and I'm I'm definitely a fan of yours now, bro. You just made me that much more, you know, ready to see what you got and how I can, you know, be a fan of it. So guys, make sure you guys support my guy. You got a website? Uh, I don't have a website. I usually I run everything off of uh, Facebook, Instagram, okay. and TikTok, which uh, I'll be happy to give the links for. Yep, give me those links, man. Share those links. E make sure you email me those links too, so I can I'll actually put it in the description. Yes, I need my. I need my fans in Northern California or wherever you at. Give my boy Ryan a, a call, see what he got, man. Because I believe, you know, success is a team sport and he on our team. This guy is on our team. Like, you know, that's why he's here. So, man, you, you, you man, you're allowed to be here anytime you want to, bro. Just send me an email. Be like, hey, bro, what's up? You know, what's up, man? I got a message. I got something I'm working on. I want your people to know. Ding, ding. I want, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how this platform works. I like to tell people's story and help people along their journey. I appreciate that, man. I do. Absolutely. So before we go, before we go, you got affirmations for recovery? Have you heard about it? What, you know, what's your thoughts if you have? I've, li I've listened to pretty much uh, the past 20 episodes that- uh, Okay, that you, that you, shit. Uh, that's- uh, Shout out to Ryan. <laughs> you gotta, gotta know what you're getting into, man. You know, absolutely, absolutely. I, I absolutely. think the, uh, the format that you use, it's great. It's amazing. Uh, you know, you capture my you captured my attention in that first cup in that first minute or so with those short episodes. You know, yes, it's not information overload. It is just the right. perfect amount to get the point across. And I love it. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate that. And if you could be so kind. If you see it anywhere, man, give me a review because reviews is how the that's how we work. That's how we operate. That's how we get that. That's how we build this evidence based practice. Okay. That's all this is for me. Like, I want to show that this works. Man, I do a lot of with this affirmations for recovery, man. This is like this is my life's practice. And I'm actually in the process of putting out a guide to go with it. It's going to be released very soon. So, guys, stay tuned. I appreciate LIE Foundation for their hard work and their efforts on actually bringing it together. Shout out to Ocean Tree again and again and again. Make sure y'all tell your friends about Ocean Tree Creative because they actually, for real, they actually do a lot of great work when it comes to the production and what I do. As far as the podcast. They brought us together. They brought us together. And I'm trying to get you on Al. And I got to shout out Al because that's one of my main sponsors. OWWLL is for today's working entrepreneur. It's for people like me and you. We work, man. It's a great community, man. That They do a lot of great work. I've done a lot of great work in the last almost two years on that app. So trust me. But it's a great platform, guys. Make sure you check it out. OWWLL. Reviews, reviews, reviews. And I'll be, ta I'll be taking uh, your podcast and throwing it out over every one of my platforms as well. Because I, I really love man, what you hey. do. Now, see, now that's, that's how we stand arm in arm. And that's why I'm asking you. So before I let you go, how can we... What can we take of yours and actually share with the world? Because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Um, you yeah. know, I would say that at this at this point, once I give those uh, social media links to you, you know, I do yeah. I do series on social media where I do positive affirmations as well. What they mean to me, what they could mean to you. You know, I would okay. I would say just listen just listen to the message. You know, listen to 
listen to the message that all of us are trying to get across. You know, that all of us are trying to get across because no trying. All of us are getting across. We actually are getting that all of us are all of us are getting across. We pushing this message. We are pushing it whether you like it or not, guys. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So that's what it's really about. So I'd actually do starting next month. I'm actually going to go back to doing I used to do IG morning 6 a.m. In addition to all the other stuff I do. I'm going to go back to doing my IG because that's where I do a lot of, I got a lot of great following on my morning show. So I go, I go live in the West coast about 6 AM in the morning. And I just talk about the word of the day, uh, just similar to how you hear on the, the affirmations for recovery. It's the same thing. So I'm going to do something like that on IG again, man. I would love to have you, you know, join me on it there too, because it's all about perspective. Mm-hmm. And I believe that, you know, four eyes is better than two. <laughs> Right? I, would, I would love to, man. So, so when you saying something to the people, I might say it a different way, but it all all roles lead the same way. Boils down to the same thing. You just really gotta have. Good. You just gotta get the right perspective. Yeah. So let's, man. Let's do it. Let's tag team, man. I'm actually gonna be in LA soon. I know that's like 800 miles from you, but yeah, I, I'll be in LA soon. If you're ever up here in the in the uh, you know in the Bay Area, man, we uh, we need to hook up. Just give me a reason, bro. Like my team, we know just how like 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 we found you this time, man. If there's something going on down there and it has something to do with recovery and it has something to do with, you know, positivity and you're a part of it, I would love to come and I'll just I'll bring myself. You don't hang out and worry about nothing for me. I got myself. You know what I'm saying? I like, you know, I would I'd want to be a part of anything that's um, moving the culture forward in a positive way. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you, man. Guys, make sure you are subscribing, liking, and sharing. All in that order, right? Because sharing is caring. And support Mm. is an action word. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Let's go. Post-production for the podcast is done with care by Ocean Tree Creative. 